very much, Peter. And after mixed speech, there's not a whole lot left for me to say. And I'm sure, like many of you who are inside, your head is probably absolutely splitting because what we were subjected to this morning was a sort of a fake reality. The event opened up with the call that Europe was at war. Imagine Europe is at war. We were told that the war in Ukraine has changed everything and that everybody now is re-evaluating their security. That we were lucky, just for your own, we've been lucky up to now. Right, that's what it's all down to look. And we don't have the luxury of sitting in the sidelines now anymore and saying we're not getting involved. All of that is 100% false. Ireland has never stood at the sidelines and said, we are all right, Jack. From the very early days of when we won our independence, the only country mature democracy in the heart of the European Union that was colonised previously. From the very beginning of us winning our independence, we joined as early as we could the United Nations and we took our sovereignty and our independence as a former colonised country out to the world in the name of peace and diplomacy. And that type of approach has allowed us to have an unbroken record of UN peacekeeping, the only country in the world that has that. 107 missions involving 72,000 Irish men and women. How in God's name is that standing on the sidelines? And it's horrible as the war in Ukraine is, and it is horrible, and it is illegal on Russia's part, but it's not the first illegal or horrible war. In fact, horrible illegal wars are being perpetrated across the world for decades, and in no other circumstances have we said, well, let's send arms in. I've never heard them sending arms into Palestine or to Yemen or to any of these countries either. Of course they don't do that. And what Ireland has done traditionally is argue for peace. And what's going on in that forum is not because the world now is more unsafe than it ever was. It's because the military industrial complex of Europe, which had already been released, unleashed prior to Putin's invasion, is now on steroids. Now they are using the invasion to get everything they ever wanted. And a union, a European Union that was supposed to be for peace, is now fully fledged on the war road to having um, a mutual defence union. We have a European Defence Fund. As Mick said, we have billions of your taxes going every year to fund that. Now, what normal person would allow that to happen? None. So they have to have threats because otherwise European uh, taxpayers wouldn't stand for it. So what we saw unleashed this morning were the Russian threats. And believe it or not, the Russians are everywhere. Actually, if you read the Irish Times yesterday, which I hope, really hope you didn't, you'd find out that anybody saying what I'm saying is actually only saying it because I'm a Russian agent. Uh, you know, the Kremlin are paying everybody, not sure what bank accounts the money is going into, but that is actually the narrative. So we're all the victims of Russian disinformation.